I think it's just, you know, for that message to leave people, I think it is that as much as we talk about not worrying about the things that are outside your sphere, think, you know, not making plans around what can't be controlled, being prepared to pivot and change and have a, you know, an end point and join the process is day to day. Remember what is in your gift? What can we influence? What can you control and put your energy there? What what is something actually that's hindering you that you might be able to take responsibility for? And even if that's just one thing, one small thing, one thing a week, all those things I think can really help maximise your potential or other such strap lines that would sound great on the start of a book. Mm. Can I ask you a question, Lee? Take away, you can most certainly. I mean, it's, it's weird because I'm the one so the, who asked the questions, but you go for it. Well, so the question is, because you said you want to take control more of your time and you referenced about yeah, probably four episodes ago, was it three, about backlog your life is this something now you're using is this now because i thought well the backlog would solve that problem but it clearly there was still something going on how are you using the backlog i suppose to deal with the lack of time or the more concentrating on time so the and just to, to reference on that like we said backlog your life is still i'm work so each month i have that of outside of work activities of things i want to do not do add them to the list start working through them i mean month four now it's going going quite well i would say without stepping into it too much but the idea for it comes from something i do in work and that that still takes place the bit i think i'd, I'd lost a handle on was it's meeting times so my scheduled things that happen daily weekly monthly whatever and then almost scattergunning things into the gaps that are in between them rather than having a plan around organizing that so it's it's like a subset of activities, if you like. So these are things that are off the backlog and are in work. And I think, I say, I just, for me, got to a point where I'm not scheduling that as well as I could be. And I think I kind of not, it's my schedule. I can deal with that. Okay. So what you mean, you've overscheduled yourself with the yeah. things? All right. That's okay. Well, I just want to understand that because, yeah, okay. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, you're trying to ram things in when actually you maybe need to just, would they maybe need to just stay on the backlog then? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. They're not just because it's, and, and I don't go too far into all the details, but this isn't just me having a to do list for the day. This might be, oh, there's a project meeting about this or a catch up about this, yeah. or can I just have half an hour of your time to do this? And it was kind of, yes, 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 yes. And suddenly my whole day is full of activities, meeting. most of right. which are on meetings with people. And being a bit like, oh, it's a crazy meeting day today, but almost verbalising it as if I've got no control over the fact it's a crazy meeting day. And again, they're all things that need to happen. But you see now, I mean, my it might be down to what I look at, but my LinkedIn is just full of things based around like chat GPT, but like, oh, we can organise your days. We can make you more productive. And a lot of these virtual AIs are almost around organising your day in the most constructive way which I think a lot of us could probably just do that ourselves as well. And I think I'd not, I'm not taking a step to say, oh, I'll get in a virtual assistant to schedule my day for me. But I also just won't be at the mercy of whatever happens to crop up. <laughs>